Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist with an interest in all things anti-aging. And today I've brought back two familiar guests on this channel to debate the science behind red light therapy. Dr. Chen Xu is an experienced aesthetic specialist with a background in emergency medicine and surgery. She's also the co-founder of Rejuvenate Medical Clinic, which offers red light therapy for a range of uses. So she has an interest in this subject and particularly good knowledge. And if you want a very helpful overview of the different forms of red light and their uses, you'll find it in this interview with Dr. Chen right here. Ivan Galenin is the founder of Adipo Skincare. Previously, he trained in inflammation research with Sanofi before going on to work with the Mount Sinai School of Medicine. So I'd like to start, if we can, with Dr. Chen, because um, this is an area of expertise for you. Can I ask you just to run through the different forms of red light and their uses and benefits and, and let us know which is best for anti-aging? So essentially, uh, red light is a, a particular wavelength of light that appears red, that you, you see it as red. Um, and um, in terms of the different forms of red light, you can get localized machines and whole body machines. Um, and I'm sure a lot of viewers are already familiar with those uh, red LED masks um, that in the beauty sector um, has been quite used quite often. Um, and in more recent years, there's the kind of more of the whole body red light therapy has become more and more popular. The red light is a particular particular wavelength of light that can penetrate quite deep into the skin. And um, they, it, it does many things, but the main thing is that it can help to improve mitochondrial function. Mm -hmm. um, and that those are the bits of the cell that produce energy. One of the things is that it can help the cells produce more energy, help the body produce more energy and that therefore then function better. Um, it also helps to balance out the um, the inflammatory response as well, but it helps to reduce chronic inflammation um, and to sort of dampen down severe um, inflammatory responses. So it's good for things like arthritis um, and just general kind of chronic inflammation in the, in the body. So in terms of anti-aging effects, because it helps the cells to release more energy from food or do that more effectively um the extra energy that the cells have then basically they they can use that to regenerate and to heal and to recover quicker um so the general kind of anti-aging effects is not only on the skin but actually mm -hmm. it works on the whole body um and really the effect is dependent on the amount of light that's exposed to the body and the length of time. I want to go now to Ivan, just who has been looking at some of the scientific studies relating to red light. Um, can we start, Ivan, with the good stuff that you found out about red light? Yeah, it, it very clearly works. Um, and, and really, I mean, compared to red nay, I would say it, um, it's, there's suggestion that it actually works uh, on more parameters. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the, the body of clinical work supporting red light is not near the same as the body of clinical work support, supporting red mm -hmm. Um, But it does seem to have a broader uh, anti-aging efficacy than, than red I would say. I mean, some of the studies have been very good. The, the study that everyone focuses on, which was done in 2007, in Korea, in mostly Korean women mm -hmm. with um, with Fitzpatrick type three and four skin. This is types three and four, where more commonly in Caucasian uh, skincare studies, the skin types that are evaluated are, are are one, two, and three. But it it the study that was done was really quite good. So red light does work, and here's the really interesting thing: it works in a natural way. One month of red light treatment had a positive effect that increased for three months after the, after the people were treated. And specifics about those positives, were, were they seeing an increase, increase in collagen production or what were they, what were they seeing? Well, I think fine lines, coarse lines, even this, um, some melanin reduction. I mean, it was mm -hmm. the typical anti-photoaging endpoints. With respect to collagen, they did look at biopsies uh, to see, okay, what, and they saw, um, they really saw structural, structural collagen improvements. 
And what I mean is by structural, it's not sort of abnormal deposition of collagen as in scar tissue. They seem to see beneficial, the collagen fibers were bundled, you know, better. But those results were, I'd say, anecdotal. They, mm -hmm. they provide no statistics about the collagen um, induction results. So that we have to put in the in the category of interesting, but not, you know, not definitive science. Dr. Chen, do you have anything to add to that? It's interesting. I mean, red light, even from clinical practice, um, from the results that I've seen, it definitely, definitely does work. Um, but I tend to, so in my clinic, um, we tend to offer the whole body red light therapy more for, for medical therapeutic mm -hmm. uses rather than for skin rejuvenation. I can't really comment too much on the, the effects of red light on skin, but I do, when I do microneedling treatments, I um, add in the red light um, at the end of it to, to help with the healing process. Dr. Chen, like in your practice, uh, um, in medical practice where you're using red light, um, what are the frequencies, durations? Do you do you give um, patients a break of a few months uh, if they've done a course of them? I mean, what? How do you normally approach it? Um, so again, this is very individualized um, treatment plan. So it depends on what it is they're treating. We've had quite a few people who have come through with long COVID or chronic fatigue syndrome. And they have really found it beneficial to use the, the whole body red light treatment for two or three times a week mm -hmm. uh, for a few weeks. And then they start to notice really good improvements. And then quite often they will naturally give it a break. I think it's diff different when you're paying for a treatment versus having a device at home. Yeah. So if you are paying for a treatment, then people tend to pay for the treatment for as long as it's um, as long as needed for them to see the result and then they tend to stop for a while because then then they feel like they don't need to pay for any more for a bit for a while so we've had a couple of um, long COVID um, patients who have had a course of 10 treatments over a few weeks then they will have a break for a few months and they do find the the results do tend to last for a while and then when they feel like they need, need a boost they'll come back and they'll have a, another course of treatment very recently interestingly recently had um, a client with rheumatoid arthritis Mm -hmm. she's quite young and she had rheumatoid arthritis she was on medication and she went to this um, health summit heard about red light therapy and she found us she wanted to try red light therapy so she signed up to our monthly sub um, subscription unlimited so she could come as much as possible she practically she sort of came about four times a week and she, when she started red light therapy, she went, she just came off all her medications. I didn't tell her to do that. She just mm -hmm. decided to do that. Stopped taking all her medications for rheumatoid arthritis. And she did it for a month and she did not need to go on her, her medication at all. It was controlling her symptoms. And so she then went on for another month and again, didn't take, didn't have to go back to the medications. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, it's been really effective and, and quite life-changing for her to not be not needing those medications yeah. i know this is only one case study um but you know but she talked she heard this being talked about at this health summit so obviously there are mm. other cases similar cases yeah um, so it's really encouraging and it just makes me as a doctor think you know if this sort of much safer natural way of treating arthritis works why aren't we using more of it and if you think about the um, the way red light works is that it increases energy, um, essentially increases the amount of energy in the cells. Um, but there is a limit to how much energy a cell can produce. There's a limit to how much, how fast the mitochondria can work. And there are other factors involved as well, like um, are there enough um, substrates, the, 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 the basic molecules that the mitochondria actually need to create energy? And if you're actually, if your body's lacking certain nutrients um, and, and not having enough of those basic molecules, then it doesn't matter how fast the mitochondria can work, you're still not going to get enough energy. So it, red light is one aspect of it. Dr. Chen, just closing thoughts from you. Uh, I know that it, it, it was it's a very concentrated discussion um, and we could talk for, for much longer. What are your closing thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, this is a, a massive topic um, and this is really, we've just touched the, the tip of the iceberg. Um, generally, 
based on the majority of the evidence for red light um, and my personal experience and also what I've seen in clinical practice, I am a huge believer and fan of red light therapy. Mm. I think it is one of the safest and most effective treatments there are for a number of different things. Cancer is a devastating disease in this country. According to the CDC, more than 18 million people have been diagnosed with cancer. One of the main treatments for cancer is, of course, chemotherapy. About 40% of those who go through chemo suffer from a horrible complication called oral mucositis, and that's caused by the radiation. According to the Oral Cancer Foundation, that can cause inflammation or severe ulcers in the mouth, which really makes it difficult for cancer patients to actually eat. Uh, this is a major problem, and of all people, NASA has come up with a possible solution. NASA is here live in our studio for today's Big Eye segment. We have Robin Schumacher from Quantum Devices who is going to tell us about a light used to treat the side effect. Dr. William Vaughn from the University of Alabama, Birmingham, and Andrew Keyes, who is the uh, the chief technologist with NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center. Uh, Robin, let's start with you. Um, tell us how this chemo light works. Sure. And you can turn it on as well. Okay. Um, this is the light that was developed for the mucositis study. Uh, what we're looking at is light in the far red uh, visible spectrum at 670 nanometers. Uh, that wavelength was chosen because it's uh, preferred, if you will, to stimulate cytochrome oxidase, which is a molecule in every single cell of your body. It's within the mm -hmm. mitochondria, and we like to refer to them as like our little energizer rabbits. So this helps prevent this condition? It, it helps it by um, stimulating uh, cellular energy hmm. and then there's this whole cascade of events like a photochemical reaction that takes place um, increasing the body's ability to fend things like that. There's off. a little bit of a backstory here though. H how did this all come to be? Well, um, Mr. Ignatius, the founder of our company and the inventor of this in uh, working with Wixar and I mean, how was it originally used by NASA? Originally used as a wound healing instrument. Um, was developed uh, for space missions. The very first thing we started to look for was uh, astronauts in space lose bone density and muscle mass. So mm -hmm. we were looking at ways to possibly stimulate that. And, and Dr. Vaughn, this is really used to, to help with this mucositis, is that right? Yes, it, uh, it uh, near infrared light uh, creates a healing environment in the damaged mucous membranes, which results in lower pain scores and uh, lower visible damage to the mucous membranes so that the patient can recover faster. Hmm. Well, this is great news, obviously, for cancer patients who, who go through this. Um, is this FDA approved? I mean, when, when might we see this on the market? Well, I was talking to Robin about that earlier, and, and there are ways that it can be made available now that the uh, FDA has seen the data. Mm -hmm. And so it is, it is possible on an ad hoc basis or investigators that want right. to do additional trials can, are, can obtain. These are actually uh, FDA cleared right now oh, for, okay. the, for uh, the use of pain. Andrew, I have to ask you, I mean, how is it that NASA, not the medical world, uh, came up with this? I mean, this is such a big innovation. I'm sure you guys are working on some other big ones, too, but how remarkable this is. That's true. NASA has a program of space technology investment, and we didn't initially go after this technology as a medical device. It was initially developed as a plant growth uh, light source for uh, plant growth uh, experiments in space. But uh, we are able to take technologies like this that benefit space applications and look at their terrestrial use and see how they can benefit uh, the medical community and uh, society at large. It's amazing. So maybe there will be more discoveries that, that can help from, we from NASA. Hope so. That really is uh, wonderful. We really appreciate all of you coming in and, uh, and bringing your red light to show us how this works. And uh, it's fascinating. Well, so hope to, see it. hope to see it soon. In a world where our cellular health is the key to vitality and well-being, imagine a device that can unlock the secrets of cellular protection and rejuvenation. Introducing the Cellnergy Wellness Device, a remarkable breakthrough in technology that combines the power of terahertz waves and red light therapy. Designed to support your body's natural ability to thrive, this innovative device goes beyond conventional approaches by targeting the very essence of our cellular health, our telomeres. Scientists discovered over 40 years ago the concept of terahertz waves. These waves occupy a unique spot in the electromagnetic spectrum, falling between microwaves and infrared light. This particular frequency range allows them to interact with biological systems in a gentle and non-invasive manner, making them ideal for wellness applications. 
In the last 30 years of development, terahertz waves energy has been safely used in many industries, astronomy, medical imaging, and even in the airport security check scanners that we've all walked through many times. When terahertz waves interact with our body, they penetrate deep into our skin, reaching our bone marrow, where a crucial process takes place. The red light therapy emitted by this device works in perfect tandem with the terahertz waves. Red light therapy, backed by a wealth of scientific evidence, has shown the ability to stimulate cellular activity, increase blood circulation, and promote the production of growth factors. These growth factors play a crucial role in activating our cellular ability to mitigate aging and, most importantly, in lengthening our telomeres. In fact, a 2017 study published in the Journal of Lasers of Medical Science showed that when red light is emitted on bone marrow, it effectively lengthens telomeres. Red light therapy, when combined with terahertz technology of the Cellnergy Wellness device, results in a powerful synergistic effect. The terahertz waves pave the way for the red light to reach deep into our bone marrow, activating cellular rejuvenation and repair. The Cellnergy Wellness device offers a multitude of benefits that can enhance your overall well-being. By harnessing the power of terahertz-based technology and red light therapy, this revolutionary device can activate your cellular ability to mitigate aging. Experience a renewed vitality as the device stimulates cellular activity, improves blood circulation, and promotes the production of growth factors. Feel the transformative effects as your telomeres lengthen, slowing down the aging process and promoting cellular rejuvenation. It's a safe, non-invasive, and effective solution that can help you achieve optimal health and well-being. It's simple. Just plug in, turn on, and sweep the Cellnergy Wellness Device four to eight inches above your problem areas for just 10 minutes a day, twice a day. Soon, you will be feeling the benefits of terahertz wave and red LED light therapy all in the comfort and convenience of your own home. It's never been easier to protect and rejuvenate your cells. Join the revolution of cellular empowerment with the Cellnergy Wellness Device. Use as directed. Consult your physician if you have any implanted devices or heart problems.